Today I had the amazing opportunity to check out Ingenium's Canada Science and Technology Museum. Come join me as I look around. When you enter the museum, the first thing you see are a whole bunch of different modes of transportation, from snowmobiles to snowshoes to the largest collection of bikes in the museum in Canada. My favorite part of the museum was the interactive exhibits, such as this one where you test out different types of bikes. Next, we headed into the steam exhibit. This exhibit is incredible and it features four massive steam engine trains. Here's me walking up to one of them for reference. Next up, we moved on to the sound exhibit. Inside the exhibit, they have a completely silent room. Called the Quiet Cube, this room is specifically designed to decrease echo. These triangular projections on the wall absorb sound waves and cause them to shorten. Here are two videos of me clapping, one inside the Quiet Cube and one outside. Notice the difference in echo. The sound exhibit also showed different forms of telephone communication, including a copy of Alexander Bell's original phonoautograph, a device that creepily used a real human ear. Next up, we moved into the crazy kitchen. This room was built on a tilt, which makes it really hard for your ears to adjust. Walking in this room definitely takes some practice. They also showcased wacky science, such as this urinalysis wheel that used to be used by doctors. The museum also had really cool combined sense activities, such as this one, which allowed you to feel different organs in order to guess what they were. It also has a lot of cool photo ops. One of my favorite exhibits was showcasing the microscopic and the macroscopic world. You could look at things really close up through microscopes, but also really far away through telescopes. Their collection of microscopes goes back to the original microscope to current electronic microscopes. And boy, do they have a lot of beautiful slides. Another really cool exhibit was their periodic table interactive game. They gave you clues and you had to guess the element. We ended our tour with a look into their tiny house. This small but surprisingly spacious room makes me really want to live in a tiny house. I had such a blast checking out this museum and would highly recommend going. Thank you so much to the Ingenium Foundation for their tour and their ongoing support. I only showed you a tiny portion of what the museum has to offer, so you have to go check it out yourself. If you check out this museum, be sure to tag me in your photos at stem underscore files on Instagram. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share.